What is going on guys and welcome back to the Young and Intelligent Money Investing channel. Today we are talking three stocks I am buying for 2018 and more specifically right now January 2018. But before we get into that I just want to welcome all the new subscribers and ask you guys to please drop a like on this video and a comment. Even if you haven't commented already I'd love to meet some of you guys, interact with you guys in the comments. I respond to all the comments so please drop them down there. Alright let's get into this. So the first stock I want to get into today is going to be Apple. As you guys can see here, Apple I think is absolutely crushing it right now. They, especially with the new release of their iPhone X with the higher price point, I th still think that hasn't affected demand very much. I think the demand is extremely high for this, these new iPhones. And even just not like, even like even though the iPhone business is booming, it's not just that. Their services business is growing, and there's also other products like the iPhone AirPods. I, I'll tell you guys, I just picked these up for for Christmas, and these are the most amazing earbuds that I've ever worn. They're extremely interactive with the phone, and it, extremely easy wireless. Stay stay in your ears while you're working out. Like there's absolutely no issues with them, and I'm seeing people all over the place wearing these now. And it, you you couldn't get them over the holidays. Like I had other family members who wanted to get it, get them after I was kind of raving about them. They find they were finally able to get a hold of them from other retailers and stuff like that. But I think Apple sold out and was on like a one month back order. It's just absolutely insane how many they're selling of these things. And I think that's just going to make them have absolutely crush it this next quarter. And hopefully that'll boost their share price. I think they're going to end up being the first trillion dollar company. And we will see about that. They're sitting at $882 billion right now. And I, I expect them to beat out Amazon and companies like Alibaba for that first trillion dollar company. So that, and that's why I'm buying an Apple right now. I definitely want to pick up some more shares there. My second stock is going to be American Tower, AMT. As you guys can see, it's being crushed over uh, today. It's about down about 2.5%, 2.7% this week. But over the last year, it's up 33.4%, and the last five years, up 90%. So it's been giving good returns, and it also has a really good growing dividend. So American Tower is a cell phone tower company, with the biggest clients being Sprint, Verizon, <coughs> AT&T, and T-Mobile. And now that Sprint and T-Mobile aren't, aren't merging anymore, that's really helped out the price, because when there's more competitors, that's going to bid up the price for the usage of their towers. And they're expanding internationally, so you don't just have to worry about a capped U.S. market. Even though the company is named American Tower, they're expanding all over the place in South America. And I expect the company to keep growing globally as time goes on. They only have a 2% dividend yield right now, which isn't great, but it has been growing at an extremely fast rate. Just in the two dividends that I've received here, it's gone up for like four cents, which is a pretty large percentage when you're thinking about just a 66% payout. So you have five or five or so percent boost. So I really like American Tower as a big, big time growth and dividend company, and a lot of other analysts like it too. I would, uh, I would recommend just getting in and holding for the long, in the long run, and that, that's what I plan to do. I'm hoping to buy more shares coming up in the future. And the final stock I want to talk about today is going to be Berkshire Hathaway. You guys know BRKB. This is Warren Buffett's company. I've talked about this before, how much I respect Buffett as a investor and how I am going to trust him with my investment the vast majority of the time. We're dealing with a little bit of lag here on the right side, but that's all right. We, 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 know, <coughs> we know how important Warren Buffett is to that company, but even though a lot of people are going to say that the big risk factor for, for BRKB is how old its management is. They have Charlie Munger's in his 90s, Warren Buffett's in his 80s, and doesn't have the best of health. But I still think what, what really matters about Berkshire Hathaway is the philosophy. I, I strongly disagree with the notion that Berkshire is just going to fall off a cliff after Buffett and Munger are gone. Because I think that investment, that core philosophy that they're going to have safe investments that are going to grow over time, they're not going to chase profits, they're going to be smart. They're going to they're going to know what they're doing. They're not going to they're not going to reach on investments just be like Bitcoin or something like that when they don't really know how it's going to pan out in the future. They're going to conserve their capital and they're going to keep building it up over the long long run. And that's why they're up 116 percent over the last five years. 
and they've been absolutely crushing it for me. I'm up 16% on the position alone, and it's just been so so great holding this, and this is a company that I am never going to worry about. Really, Apple, AMT, and BRK, are, I'm like not concerned about it. These aren't companies you're going to lose sleep over. So even though I'm not talking about ETFs today, I am still talking about safe dividend companies that really aren't going anywhere. You're talking about the biggest company in the world, a huge growth stock that is backed by these cell phone towers that aren't going anywhere. And we're talking about Berkshire Hathaway, which has one of the most diversified portfolios for a single company than in the world. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please drop a like and a comment below. Let me know what stocks you're looking to pick up in early 2018, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.